what's the degree? 50, 55, 55 degrees today. The boys are in their Irish sweaters and we're off to the parks. Tell we're cold. <laughs> I got this Irish sweater, jeans, and my winter jacket on. The sun is nice though. And we're trying to move to Chicago. <laughs> Speaking of Chicago, Christina and our cousin went to go check out an apartment near our old neighborhood in Boys Town, north of Chicago. Loved it. So we're reaching out to the broker or agent or whatever. Yeah. Just the person that toured it and is in charge of it. But we might have an apartment that we like enough to try to lock in. Um, but the game plan now is I'm gonna wait in line. We're gonna do baby swap, which is like fast pass secretly still, where I wait in standby for 45, 50, whatever it is. And then when I get off it, Sarah comes, bumps her magic band, and she goes right to the fast pass merger. So then Sarah yeah. and James gets to just stroll around and I'll wait in line. But did you say what right? Flight of passage. less people over in Africa than in Pandora so I am strolling around while Peter waits in line we figure he'll be in line longer and that way if James wakes up and needs to eat I'll be here with him it worked out though because the part of the line that I was waiting in we did a little bit of chit chatting about the apartment getting things situated and um, it's funny that it is like the first place that we have gone and toured and really like been in talks with but just like sometimes you know what you like it's really really nice it's so us um, and so hopefully we'll get an application in as soon as possible and then that worry about moving will be gone I'm in line I'm sure Sarah's getting an update we're doing baby swaps she had to wait in line with me until we got to the front of the queue and then we did the magic fan swap thing so she's gonna go hang out so it's an hour but that was from when we got in line I still think it's only gonna be like 40 minutes from where I'm at not that bad, especially with how beautiful it is to go on Flight of Passage. And I think we've been on it once this year, um, so it'll be nice. And Sarah didn't get to go on it last time because she was pregnant. Um, it is a gorgeous day out. Look at it. Look at behind me. And it's like 55 and a little breeze. Got some layers on and it's perfect. for lunch. This menu looks a little different. Looks good. Also, there's always a ton of seating over here. Even if you bring your own lunch, we've sat there a ton. There's so much. It goes all the way back. The little baby is just asleep. You guys think he looks bigger today? magical, emotionally touching attraction in any theme park around the world. So I, I found saw, Sarah. I saw Timon and Rafiki. Ooh. I hung out down by the Tree of Life. Ooh. Uh, so we got some of the questions answered from Chicago. And uh, we're about to put in an application for an apartment. It's crazy. Not even a crazy. weekend of looking. I mean, you guys know us. Like, when we get in a mindset, we're in that mindset. Yeah. And It'd be different if they went to the tour and it was like, eh, and we don't want to miss out, so let's do it. Like, it's really nice. We'll tell you more about it maybe later or after we hear from the application. Yeah. I don't want to get too excited, but I also want to be positive and like, will it into existence. So let's fill it out. This is not a sweet angel. Are you stressed? Yes. 
Are you excited? Yeah. I feel like I need to get the rest of the planning that I need to know if we get approved and then I need to figure out the rest of the planning like flying Grant down, getting a U-Haul, figure yeah. out that timing. The cool part and then I'll start going over the, the money. Is you said that typically you find out within a day or two. And they'll reopen Monday, so we won't know until Monday, like Monday, Tuesday. Monday would be the earliest, but probably Monday, Tuesday. Cool. Well, the application is in. That's like the first thing that like we really, besides like only having a six month lease, that's like the true like first steps to moving. Like for real, real happening. For real, real. Like, I mean, I did talk to my work. And yes. I've talked to my VP twice about it because I. But like we could just stay then. I mean, I guess in this case we could just lose out on the application fee. But that's a big deal. Huge deal. Wow. Now we wait. Wait. Then I'm already stressing about packing closets and taking things off the wall. And all right. Wow. I can just see it has a long hallway, and I can just see Eve like run, 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 run. Now it's time for you to go Navi. No. Flight passage. Yeah. Bye. Oh, you're not going to watch me there? I will. The way you're going to do this is by being matched to something called an avatar. They're created by blending human DNA and Navi DNA. Once we match you to an avatar, thanks to a special link chair, your mind will be able to control that avatar. Wow. I have not been on that ride in a very long time. It was awesome. I did expect to be distanced from the people more, but I really liked the people I was on the ride with on one side. There was a family that was like quoting the video, knew the different parts, like I'm that way, you know, with like Dinosaur and Haunted Mansion and other spiels. And it was cool to like hear them like repeat it. Like you just tell they loved it. And then on my other side, they had never been on it before. And so their reaction for their first time, it was like the best of both worlds. So it was a good experience, but I was a little surprised. Um, now I'm gonna go meet Peter. I don't know if we'll try to go on any other rides. And I'm excited, even if we just stroll. Well, now we're just strolling around. The wait times aren't bad, but they're not great. Yeah. So we might ride our baby slop, ride our slop um, Everest, because we haven't done Everest during the daytime. Yeah, long time. So how is uh, Navi? Going on Navi. It's, it's Flight of Passage. Oh, <laughs> how did Flight of Passage feel going on it? It's such a great ride. And now to the context of you just put an application in to move across know, the country. I know, it was like such an epic thing. I like, we like literally like set apply and then I got on this like um, cinematic like experience of a ride. Um, a whirlwind, I'm sure. I, I admit that one was an emotional one because it's not a ride we go on often. So like you start to think like, will we really make a point to go on it? Because we right, can like, be sure that to do things before we go, but. Right, like, I can see us going on that like we're probably going at one more time yeah and it might be by accident like oh it's a quick wait yeah so yeah it was great it's such a good ride i forget every time i go on it i'm blown away like it's just one of those rides i don't know the last time we've been on this attraction during daylight but it's it's moving very quickly rather than posted time of 45 minutes i think it's been about five or ten <laughs> Waking up. Hi. Did you have good dreams? Did yeah. you have Animal Kingdom dreams? Mm. Oh gosh, did you miss us? We oh, keep not peeking on you. Wake up, wake up. Some, right. Oh, big oh. yawn. <laughs> Wait, you know, nice nap. Yeah. Like, we put in an application for our next home. So. Can you believe it? So we're in a different room, but we I think Animal Kingdom is our favorite. Yeah. I like the space in the individual rooms yeah. for sure. And... There's a filtered water right outside the door. Yeah. You guys think you're so cool in your matching sweaters. What's it? Do you have a good time at Animal Kingdom? Uh, oh, it's kind of 
Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. The Charleston contest. You ready to go for a quick stroll on Discover Island before we go home? Yes, indeed. Because the park closes in 20 minutes? Yeah, it's chilly. So gotta get the hat on. Oh, maybe we should put some of the lovies on him. I got, I got the mist in my pocket. He looks so goofy. I love it. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's gorgeous. We're doing a little stroll, a slower stroll, behind and around Discovery Island yeah. before we head out for the evening. Beautiful. It is beautiful. I think they stopped all these. Uh, like they, they brought the animals back to the reserve for all these. I think to stop crowding. We haven't had the most in-park awake James time lately, so Sarah wanted to stop and make sure she showed him the tree of life properly before we head out. It's a big tree. It is a big tree. Um, we got party platter to celebrate <laughs> us of putting in an application. We got two different kinds of zaps. We got Cage and Dill Gator Taters. That's a fun name. And Voodoo. Heat. Voodoo this is a, a dollar store haul. Dollar store haul. Tortilla chips. We actually already had the salsas. That one's super hot. This is a public salsa and some Kickstarters. Celebration. Elation. Elation. <laughs> Should we watch New Girl? This dog is being a very much a beggar for some food right now when she shouldn't be. What did we just do, Sarah? What did we just do? We just sent a bunch of financial documents. We signed financial documents off and we signed up for a free trial of Discovery Plus because yeah. we're going to watch them. My buddy Steve from Tampa said we should watch the um, Give the Courage to Run show. I thought it was a, mo a documentary, but apparently it's a series. Thanks for giving me the heads up, Steve. No thanks. But it's uh, about Chip learning how to run, trained, trained by Gabe Grunwald. Great story. Look it up. Tear jerker. Let's go. So that was a very good little mini series. We realized it's probably just those two episodes. So don't be overwhelmed and watch it. No, I'll take it back, Steve. Um, <laughs> very interesting, just the parallels with us and running and cancer, cancer and um, all of that. So it was really good. So we just finished watching some new girl. <laughs> you guys did not see. I cut a bunch of footage just there. Um, but now we're looking for Drinking Buddies, which is a movie based in Chicago. It has Nick from New Girl. His name is Jake Johnson. He is the main character in this movie. And this is where we got the idea for Peter's tattoo. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. I haven't watched this since I Did you see it? Oh! That's so funny. Also, it's not 362 days until Christmas. Drinking bodies. So this baby is snoring. We're going to get cookies. And look at how comfortable this girl is. It's my favorite stretch she does. Sarah just scripted this shot you're about to hear. Scene. We're always disappointed with this movie. But for real, we are. We've only watched it once before. We've watched the beginning a bunch. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's got, it got, kind of goes nowhere. It's just kind of like your average Joe's in a movie. Average Joe's in a movie. Cool, some cool scenes of Chicago areas, because it's, it's filmed at a brewery in Chicago, which in a few weeks we'll just have to take you to. Um, inspired my tattoo, which is probably the greatest part about it, and Nick Miller's in it. Nick Miller, Nick Miller, the streets of Chicago, I love you, It's <laughs> one of my favorite new girl scenes. Ouch! Wow, nothing is going on in January. <laughs> it's a do-nothing January, kind of like a no-spend January, but a do-nothing. So what's today's date? It's a Saturday. It's the 9th. It's the 9th. This is Saturday the 9th. Saturday the 9th is by the great Zig Ziglar, which who I love. Actually one of the fewer um, like 
motivational speakers I've listened to. Like I, I haven't listened to a lot of Zig Ziglar. I've listened to a lot of people who were like second generation Zig Ziglar. Like they were inspired by Zig. <laughs> anyway, life is an echo. Ain't that the truth? What you send out comes back. Anyway, this is where wait, I sign wait, off when wait, Sarah wait. and James are asleep. Oh wait, look at this burrito supreme. And it's late. He he's been he's been asleep, asleep for hours. Um, and we were hoping it would be. I mean, he's such a nice, sweet little baby, but like he'll he'll go to sleep fairly easy. But he's awake. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Oh. <gasps> We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.